Today I'm making a kitchen living room combo, but I wanted to give my full attention to each room so I decided to break them into two parts. Part one is the kitchen and part two will be the living room. So if you like this craft, be on the lookout for part two. And just a quick plug for the latest video on my other channel for Rainbow's Toy and Doll Adventures. If you're into doll parodies, you should totally check it out. And just a heads up, a lot of the accessories you see here are from earlier videos. I'll do my best to link to them in the description box, but of course you can always search the channel. As always, if you make this craft, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. And kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, so I start with foam board. Of course, you never have to use that. You can use cardboard, but I do like foam board because it's thicker and the edges are cleaner. And the measurements here, it's about 20 inches long for this living room combo that's really intended for LPS. I cut out a door and window using an X-Acto knife. Again, for LPS height. And the window's a bit jagged, so you can use a uh, nail file to smooth that out. And just using scrapbook paper for detail. And cardstock for the window. Then I glue in place. And for the trim, using wooden sticks. You could always use cardboard or even just cardstock. Which I paint. And glue. For the kitchen counter and sink, I start with the sink, gluing craft foam to cardboard. Then glue more craft foam around the edges. and just using tacky glue along the seam. Next, I glue two pieces of packaging material together for the base of the countertops. Cut out room for my sink. Then just cutting out more pieces of cardboard for supports. The countertop is just a piece of craft foam. I measure out my sink. Glue my supports and sides. and I paint the cardboard white and the craft foam pink. And I use quite a few coats. And when everything's dry, I glue in place. Then adding more craft foam and beads for details. For the sink, again, more craft foam. You can shape it using heat from your hot glue gun, carefully, of course. Trim. I glue the bottom to a perler bead for more stability, and when dry, paint silver. Then glue it along with two painted beads and a drop of painted paper for the drain. And glue that to my wall. And just making a super easy little window using scrapbook paper and cardstock. Then I wrap more foam board for shelves. 
and then just using these really cute um, puffy stickers from Dollar Tree for detail. And to make the little island and stools, I glue cardstock to craft foam. This makes your craft foam a lot sturdier. I give it plenty of time to dry, then cut out my pieces. Score the craft foam for detail. Then flip it over and I'm just scoring to create sides, which I can fold in and glue around another piece of that cardstock craft foam combo. Flipping it over and gluing another piece for even more stability. Then adding more painted craft foam to the top. For the stools, I use craft foam for the top. But for more stability, glue secret cardboard underneath that hopefully no one can see. And the base, I'm using a lid from those toy capsules and a bead, which I can paint. And glue. Again, just adding a drawer and bead for more detail. And finally, I'm adding a fridge that I made a long time ago for LPS. As well as an oven. And tons of other accessories, which I will do my best to link to in the description section, but of course you can always search the channel. And guys, you are so totally good to go. This was one of my favorite crafts. I'm like in love with this little pink kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks guys.